five days, six cities, countless amounts of fans. Tim DeRuiter put in some PR work this week. The Bulldog Express traveled the valley roughly a thousand miles, spreading the message of Fresno State football. Let's go on board. Here's tonight's fee out of Fresno sideline spotlight. As the head football coach at Fresno State, Tim DeRuiter wears many hats, in his case visors. He's a leader, a manager, a communicator, a recruiter, a salesman. Consider this his latest sales pitch. It's pretty cool. It's the Bulldog Express. I guess I gotta you know, be on my best behavior. The best part is having the big bulldog though on the side. That's the outside. Wait until you see the inside. I've never had the opportunity to ride in a rig like this, but I don't know how I'm gonna go anywhere else if I don't ride in a rig like this. I mean, this thing's beautiful inside. There's granite, there's three flat screen TVs, huge bedroom, there's a full walk-in shower. There's also a kitchen, complete with a microwave and refrigerator. There's even a fireplace. So you're looking at a house, basically. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's awesome. It costs more than a house. Estimated value, $300,000. It's a, uh, a diesel pusher made by a um, company called Monaco. One of the unique things is on the uh, driver's side, it has a full wall slide out which means the uh, kitchen, the uh, uh, couch, part of the bedroom with the TVs and stuff all slide out in one. It's almost the full length of the, the motor home. Wayne Trutna is the man in charge of it, at least on Monday. He was the driver. When I was asked to do it, they said, but I'd like to do it. And I said, I'd love it, love to. Uh, the uh, ride down, uh, talking to the coach all the way down, it is a whole lot of fun. First stop, the planing mill in Visalia. This is your place. This is it. Howdy. This is it. Well, give you us a dime tour real quick. Okay. It's a tremendous opportunity for us when Fresno State called and asked if we'd be willing to host. I, I absolutely jumped at the opportunity. Come on in, guys. It's great for our business, being a new business to have Coach Deruder here is huge for us. Uh, and as a Bulldog fan, I've been a Bulldog fan my entire life. The place was full of Bulldog fans. In fact, everywhere the Bulldog Express was last week, Bulldog fans were there. Tuesday in Lemoore and Paso Robles. Wednesday in Bakersfield. How you guys doing? Friday, Madera and Fresno. For me to get a chance to come out and meet the fans, talk with them, answer questions. What's your name? <laughs> Emma. How did you get so cute? It's great for me to get to know our fans and hopefully they enjoy, you know, getting to have some one-on-one -on -one time with me. We like it. Did a good job last year, and we expect better things this year. We love Coach DeRuiter and what he's doing with the team, and we're just so happy that he's here, and we want him to stay for a long time. That was the general consensus at each stop on the Bulldog Express. Anybody watch us on TV last year? Okay, great. Quarterback Derek Carr got to see it firsthand. He met up with Coach DeRuiter Wednesday in Bakersfield, his hometown. It's great for the Valley. You know, it's great for the city of Fresno, great for Bakersfield. We listen to our fans. We, we listen to the people who, who love, you know, Fresno State football. We kind of look at where fan base is, and we look where people are, and we look where people who want to host us. And so in all these cities, we've had people come to us and say, hey, you know, can can my business host coach? Can we have a breakfast here? Can we do a lunch there? Good to meet you. Grace, nice to meet you. Come on, see us. There has never been a thing that we've asked Coach DeRuiter to do that he hasn't said, I'm on board, guys, let's go do it. This week, he literally was on board, on board the Bulldog Express, which, by the way, gets between six and nine miles per gallon. Everybody that, that, that comes has a connection with Bulldog football, it feels a, a connection to it. That game. Pretty tough. We've got a chance to have a heck of a year this year. As the Valley's team. For me to get a chance to come out and meet people personally, I think, uh, helps me sell that message. And he did a great job with it. The players report for fall camp August 1st. The season opens August 29th against Rutgers. And in case you're curious, Coach DeRuiter used his time on the Bulldog Express to check email and Twitter.